Ehang have taken to the skies to showcase aerial sightseeing trips in East China. Regular viewers will remember we recently brought you the story of the world's first drone hotel, where guests will be able to enjoy sightseeing tours in an Ehang passenger drone, as well as drone light shows and more. Well, Ehang have come a step closer by showcasing the tourist sightseeing trips themselves. Today, we're taking a look. Geeksvana is your drone channel. Hey everyone, my name is Sean and welcome to Geeks Varna. We are a channel focused on drones and tech, whether it's the latest drone news, manufacturer leaks, interviews or tech how-to videos. We try to bring you the information you need to know in a fast, concise and highly accurate manner. If this is something you'd like to see more of, then subscribe and to get the latest drone news first, hit the notification bell. As previously reported by Geeks Varna, Ehang and the Chinese authorities are busy turning an eastern Chinese city into an integrated airspace for the development of various forms of drone flight, including delivery and even sightseeing drones. Toward this goal, Ehang have released footage of the first tourists taking flights on the sightseeing trips. The footage shows some very excited passengers traveling over a portion of sea into the peninsula tip of the city, which houses many of the more tourist interest areas. As you might expect with the passengers seemingly flying alone in the drones, the flights were a bit cautious, seemingly ensuring a softer landing should any failings occur by remaining over the water at most times. Closer scrutiny of the showcased flight footage shows the Ehang 216 parked with motors covered with umbrella attachments to shield it from the downpour. This is a decent step forward for Ehang and their plans, which are accelerating at a fast pace to get their passenger drone into daily use and therefore proven in safety terms. This will no doubt enhance their desires to see their 216 aircraft over the skies of many countries. What are your thoughts on these passenger drones from Ehang? With this level of careful development and safety focus, would you consider taking a flight to the airport in one? Or perhaps a sightseeing tour of the Grand Canyon and the like? Let me know in the comments below, I would love to hear what you've got to think. Here at Geeks Varna, we've been running our channel membership club for a while now, and I want to thank every single one of our members, new and existing, for supporting the channel in such a direct way. As well as getting custom emojis and avatars, club members also enjoy behind the scenes footage, bonus videos, and even video chat meetups with Geeks Varna presenters. One thing we like to do is give a shout out to our Varna Army and Geek Level members. Today, I'd like to give a warm thank you and a shout out to Paul Murray, who, as well as being a member of the channel, has always supported Geeks Varna and my efforts to bring you all the latest drone and tech content. Paul is an expert drone flyer and his channel focuses on capturing vessels moving from the US to Canada in such a unique way. There's a link to his channel below, so please go check him out. Please remember to like and subscribe. Alright, you still here? Uh, no one see. <laughs>